Hello, I'm Jessica Ojeda, and in this lesson we're going to learn how to give advice in English. Brought to you by Selva Inglés. Vamos a ver tres maneras de dar consejos en inglés. Should, ought to, y el segundo condicional. Should más el infinitivo. You should study more. You shouldn't work so much. Ought to más el infinitivo. You ought to study more. You ought not work so much. O you ought not to work so much. El segundo condicional. If I were you, I would study more. If I were in your shoes, I would study more. If I were in your position, I would study more. Let's look at an email that my friend Catherine wrote me asking for some advice. And later, we'll read how I responded to her email. Hi, Jessica. I hope you're doing fine. I need your advice on a few things. First of all, I have a test Monday and I have to work all weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Therefore, I won't have time to study. What should I do? Next, I have to write a report in my geology class and I don't know what to write about. Since you studied geology, I thought you could help me decide. And finally, I'm graduating next month and I have $30,000 worth of student debt. Thank you for your help. Talk to you later. Catherine. Now we'll read the entire email at a normal pace. Hi, Jessica. I hope you're doing fine. I need your advice on a few things. First of all, I have a test Monday and I have to work all weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Therefore, I won't have time to study. What should I do? Next, I have to write a report in my geology class and I don't know what to write about. Since you studied geology, I thought you could help me decide. And finally, I'm graduating next month and I have $30,000 worth of student debt. Thank you for your help. Talk to you later. Catherine. Now let's read my response. Hi, Catherine. It sounds like you could really use some advice. If I were you, I would ask my boss for Sunday off. You should spend Sunday studying and not working since your test is Monday. You ought to write a report on the mineral calcite. It's one of the most diverse minerals, and there are endless things you can say about it. I don't think you should worry about this report. It'll be a piece of cake. If I were in your shoes, I would pay the debt off ASAP. You should pay as much as you can per month, and whatever you do, don't pay the minimum payments. I hope my advice is helpful to you. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care. Jessica. Now we'll read the entire email at a normal pace. Hi, Catherine. It sounds like you could really use some advice. If I were you, I would ask my boss for Sunday off. You should spend Sunday studying and not working since your test is Monday. You ought to write a report on the mineral calcite. It's one of the most diverse minerals, and there are endless things you can say about it. I don't think you should worry about this report. It'll be a piece of cake. If I were in your shoes, I would pay the debt off ASAP. You should pay as much as you can per month, and whatever you do, don't pay the minimum payments. I hope my advice is helpful to you. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care. Jessica. 
vamos a repasar lo que aprendimos. Se puede usar should, ought to y el segundo condicional para dar consejos en inglés. Should más el infinitivo. You should sleep. You shouldn't cry. Ought to más el infinitivo. You ought to sleep. You ought not cry. You ought not to cry. Y el segundo condicional. If I were you, I would sleep. If I were you, I wouldn't cry.